so hi everyone today we will be discussing about how you can implement graph rag using json file so basically in the previous video i have already explained what is graph rag how it is better than the standard rag and a basic implementation of graph rag for basic text and csv file now in this case we will be experimenting with how graph rag can be implemented for a json file so for experimentation purpose i have just considered a small json file for now so it can replicate the idea of facebook friends facebook network that i'm trying to replicate name is given email id friends post done by the person likes done by the person and so on so like this we have a few samples that we have generated using chat gpt and now we would be implementing graph rag on this particular json file so for that you first need to pip install all these requirements langton experimental community network x Google Gemini if you are using the free Gemini API key that Google provides if you are not you can use any LLM blank chain code json repair so once this is done so basically in a graph rack flow there are two major things one is the creation of knowledge graph and second is the creation of the graph qa chain that we do now in case of json we would be adding one more step so what we would be doing we would be first converting this json into an unstructured data so that eventually we can perform the default knowledge graph creation provided by a uh, lang chain it is just for compatibility purposes so you need to pip in, you need to import all these important libraries that we would be using including llm graph transformer graph qa chain etc so first of all i am creating a prompt convert the given json object into unstructured readable paragraph output just the final paragraph json and then i would be reading uh, line by line record by record from the json and then passing it through the llm prompt so this would be the final output that we get john do with an email address of this is socially and enjoy connection with friends he counts james smith bob johnson etc as friends so what we have done we have converted the structured data into an unstructured data right now once we are able to do this the rest of the process remains very similar as we did in the first uh, tutorial on basic text we would be loading this text as document and then apply llm graph transformer as here you can see that now one important point to know is that if you are very sure what entities and relationship would be present you can pass them as a parameter to the llm graph transformer here but if you are not sure what you need to do is you need to leave it blank so what will happen eventually the llm would be identifying the entities and basically the relationship between the text on its own so you would be seeing some random relationships also at times but in this case the output has been pretty good once you are able to set up your llm graph transformer what you need to do is this is not a mandatory step as you know this is just for demonstrating to you how the gra knowledge graph that has been created over the json looks like so once you have extracted the graph document filtered you would be getting three entities node 1 node 2 relationship as here you can see so email id has been taken as a node uh, also a node even the per people have been taken as a node so here you can see that post content is taken as a node and the relationship as has email has friend has reaction so this is pretty good i think the uh, the response generated is pretty nice and now we will be trying to use graph qa chain over this graph database that we have created so here you can see that a gra knowledge graph would look something like this nodes and the relationship between the nodes now once we have created this knowledge graph the next step is very easy we will be calling out a network x entity graph and then eventually we will be creating a graph object using this particular output that we got from lm graph transformer so in this we are doing nothing uh, it has two entities nodes and relationships graph documents filter is coming from this point if you remember lm transformer filter convert to graph documents right so now we are creating the graph converting the graph documents into graph object so we would be reading the nodes one by one adding them to the graph we would be reading the relationships one by one adding them to the graph so basically in a relationship you need to mention what is the first and the second node and the relationship between them right so once you are able to add your nodes and relationships the next step is very easy you need to call out the graph qa chain from lang chain and then ask start asking your questions brief me about john do so here you can see that it is able to extract all the relationships all the nodes that are present in the graph database that we have created and then form a final answer depending upon it has an email address of this he has three friends he had made two posts etc 
Now another question that I ask is Emily Davis reacts on which types of posts, what it tells about her. This is interesting. This is not a direct question. Emily Davis reacts on posts expressing cheerful greeting, which tells us that she is likely a positive and upbeat person. So this output is getting derived from the full context that is getting extracted from the graph. Tell me about Bob Johnson's friend. So it is able to extract that also. He has three friends, John Doe, Sarah Lee and Emily Davis. In this way, you can ask many questions. I think you can make even more complex agents also that can have an entire chat and can enable memory as well. So you can ask follow-up questions. So tell me about the, uh, the descriptions of different friends of Bob Johnson and so forth. So this is how you can use a JSON file directly uh, for graph rack creation purposes. Thank you. So hi everyone. My new book, Lanchin in Your Pocket, Beginner's Guide to Building Gen A Applications Using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Thank you so much.